saw you there because I set up this camera. <laughs> Anyways, how you doing? I'm Lily. It's really nice to meet you. Pretend we're shaking hands. We're in a pandemic sense, so we can't. But, so again, like I said before, I'm Lily. So you may be wondering, Lily, who are you? Well, I'm a lot of things, I, th I think. I don't know, you know, sometimes I have a hard time with my identity like many others I have met before in my past. My past. I haven't lived that long. I'm only 21. I don't know how much farther I'll get, but we'll see. So, so what's this show about? What's Lily's show about? What are you going to do for me? What are you going to show me? Well, I'm going to show you a lot of things, okay? I'm going to show you a lot of good things. So basically what I want to achieve with this show is show you my lifestyle that I have lived. Um, for the past... Eight months? How long has this pandemic gone on? Let's say seven months. Let's just say seven. That's a good number. I like that number. So anyways, let's just say seven minutes. So for the past seven months, I've been living my life as though 2010 has never happened and further on years have never happened. Because my life went downhill after 2010 happened. <gasps> I turned 11. That was a very hard thing to do. I didn't like turning 11. But it happened and I couldn't stop it. Because the concept of time had me in its grips. So anyways. Um, because like with this pandemic. And with again my life going downhill. I just feel like it's just a good outlet for me. To feel like this is just good. I'm reliving my childhood. I'm definitely not holding on to any trauma. I'm okay. So yeah, you know, that's kind of, I guess, the gist. I'll tell you more. Hold on. So you may be wondering, but what does a lifestyle from the 2000s look like? Well, basically, you know, like, just going back to the childhood days. Like, just watching movies and shows and reading books and listening to music. That only involves everything before 2010 and after 1999. Simple as that. Simple. And so, that's basically it i'd say it's pretty chill it's a pretty simple concept i'd say it's pretty good and so also with this show i want to say that i'm going to include a co-host but not a person because we're in a pandemic i have to acknowledge this again it's going to be my dolphin samantha Woo! samantha get over here get over here samantha i'll go get her so this is samantha she's going to sit on my lap like you know like the godfather like with the cat and the godfather it's gonna be like on the day of my daughter's wedding. Except I'll be like, nice dolphin, nice dolphin. Well, no, but this is Samantha. I love her. Bye, Samantha. So, yes. So, you may be wondering, is this episode going to be basically just you introducing yourself? I don't think I like that. I don't like myself either, but... I'm going to tell you more than just this. I just want to start with my favorite topic right now today. Lizzie McGuire. Woo! So let's start with why I really like Lizzie McGuire. And that's the only thing I'm going to really talk about. Why, Lizzie, like, why I like Lizzie McGuire. I'm not the Wikipedia artist of Lizzie McGuire. Which I wish I was. So here's Lizzie. She sits by me all the time. Probably saw her over here before. She sits by me all the time. I like her a lot. Hope she's doing good. Hope she's doing good in life. So I bet she is doing good in life. I bet you are. So I'd say I really like Lizzie McGuire because of her style, the way she talks, the adventures she goes on with her friends. I really like that. I think it's a touching thing. And there's just a lot I like about Lizzie McGuire. I think she's the optimum or the peak of the 2000s lifestyle i love it and i look up to it every day so and i have i have other lizzie mcguire merch as well would you like to see i know you'd like to see here i go here's a lizzie mcguire dvd this kept me going before disney plus added lizzie mcguire i was so depressed when lizzie mcguire wasn't on disney plus i was depressed for other reasons but i was mostly depressed because lizzie mcguire was anywhere to watch i didn't want to watch it illegally because i felt bad i felt really bad so, but then Disney Plus was like, here you go. Here's Lizzie McGuire. So I'm forever changed. But I'll still hold this movie deep to my head. I also got one more piece of merch. Lizzie McGuire Snow Globe. Listen to that water. Lizzie McGuire water. 
And finally, one more Lizzie McGuire thing for you to see. I must show it off. My Lizzie McGuire spooky season thing. A collage. Check it. Can you see it? Can you see it? Can you see it? So, yeah. I mean, that's basically all my Lizzie McGuire stuff, I, I'd say. I don't know, I don't really have much to talk about recently, but I think living in this 2000s world is just pretty good. I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world, but I'm not wrapped in plastic, I'm free! Sorry this video was all over the place, I was diagnosed with ADHD this morning. The doctor had said to me, Lily, you have ADHD, and I said, wow. I don't know, what was I supposed to say? Oh yes, I love ADHD. Or was I supposed to cry? I cry every night. Look, it's getting dark right now. I'm about to go cry. Wish me luck. Next episode on Lily's show, if you come back, we're gonna be talking about movies before 2010 and after 1999. <gasps> Amazing. And then we'll also be talking about celebrities before 2010 hit them. They don't look bad now. Like, at all. They don't look... Trust me, they don't look bad at all. But, like, we'll be talking about young Ryan Gosling, young Keanu Reeves, young Elijah Wood. And we'll probably also be talking about young Elizabeth Moss. I love you, Elizabeth Moss. I love you, Elizabeth Moss. We'll also be talking about Hilary Duff, of course. Why would I leave Hilary out of this? I would never leave Hilary Duff out of this. Well, anyways, yeah, I hope you guys have a fantastic day. I love you. Mwah! Mwah! Uh, I hope you found the Lily Show amazing because the Lily Show finds you amazing. Oh.